Okay, so let's just um, just want to welcome everybody, welcome everyone um, to the Bitcoin Trend and Forecast showcase of one of our new products. Um, just get there. And we're really excited to bring this product to you guys. It's something different, it's similar, but it's different to what we already have on our ecosystem. We have numerous products in our ecosystem from training courses, signal services, reports on different trading um, timeframes. We've got al algorithmic data analysis of the market. And now the latest one is um, social signals. So we want to welcome Elmer and Shaw, um, who most of the community know that are really, really great analysts. And to tell us a little bit more about um, the social signals and what we can expect from them. So please feel free to ask put it in the chat box, um, raise your hand once they have given their introduction on the signal. And we're really, really excited to bring you guys this product. Over to you and Michelle Marie. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you very much. And hello, everybody. And uh, a very warm welcome from, from our Salsa Signal team. We're very excited to have you here. And yeah, let's hope we can bring something to the table that you all will enjoy. So yeah, let me just start by uh, introducing myself. My name is Shaul and my surname is Van den Berg. I live in South Africa, um, on the east coast of South Africa in a town called Breaches Bay. And we're about two hours up north from, from the urban area in a very, very hot city, especially this time of the year. We really heat up quite a bit. Um, I've myself started, um, trading about three to four years ago. Um, I, like probably most of you have started off with the long-term signals of Marius Landman. And um, yeah, it's been going well. And But there was something missing. So at the end of the day, I was scratching around and I stumbled upon the Aronauts course that Wendy um, was having at that stage. And um, yeah, I decided to join that. And uh, that was basically what paved my way into the, into the trading world as such and doing also some TA. After that, I um, also did the TA course, which was uh, presented by Alex and Doc at that stage. And um, yeah, together with the auto notes and the TA courses and self-study and everything that goes together with it, I actually started um, enriching myself um, as a trader and um, that's where I am today and that's where I love to be and would love to be for the for the coming years of my life as well so uh, yeah that's just a little bit about me and all of you are probably asking why salsa signal so why are we here now we want to introduce this product to you um, as you all know there's basically three types of, of trading and that Falls down to the very long-term trading that Marius does, um, which takes weeks and months to play out. <clears throat> and then there's the day trading. Um, and then after that, we also get the, the, the scalp trading. Now, the problem that I encountered is um, you get up at a point that you, you want the trades to play out, and but the waiting and the waiting and the waiting just gets to you. So that's why I started doing the, the shorter term courses um, because I want to be actively involved in the, in, the, in the trading. But anyway, long story short, um, the long term trading becomes a problem because it takes too long to play out, in, especially for someone like me that wants to be actively involved. Even the day trading also takes days, you know, anything from two days up to 10 days to 14 days to, to play out. But then you have the scope trading which is actually something that you sort of need to be hands on. You need to spend hours and hours in front of the computer. And not all of us have the time available always uh, to do that. I just, myself still run a small business um, and things happen. You know, you've got uh, most of a lot of us still work. You've got meetings to attend during the day or side visits or, you know, stay at home mom. And that doesn't mean that you've got lots of hand on, on Lots of time on hand, so you still have to run after the kids, look after the family, make food. You know, all those, those sorts of things keeps us all occupied and busy during the day. 
And that makes it difficult to spend hours and hours in front of the screen. So that's where we got to the conclusion that we need something in between. Um, and I think that is what we want to present to you today and what we're going to put on the table is salsa signals. And we, the reason for the salsa is being hot and spicy. It's quick, quick trades. It's, um, we want to turn it around quite a bit. Um, so the trades will basically be uh, playing out within a two hours to a 48 hours range. That's what we aim for. So if you get your trade, you can put your trade in, you can actually go and do something. You can go get the kids at school and you can go to the meeting. In the meantime, your trade is playing in the background. But at the same time, it's still a short enough period that you can actually still follow your, your trade and be involved in your trade. Um, and I think that is what we sincerely believe we can bring to the table and bridge that sort of gap between the, the very short term signals and the, um, the longer term signals, any type from, anything from day trade on towards the long term trading. Um, I'm just quickly going to share um, a chart here with you. And I just want to quickly show you what you can expect uh, once we post the, the signal. Um, it will obviously be posted in a channel that you, once you've joined, you will be uh, become part of the channel. Now, typically the charts will look something like this. This is not an active signal at all. I'm just having it for presentation purposes. Um, so basically we will um, post a chart and you will see this on the chart. You will see a couple of lines there which this pink line will be a, what we call a stop loss. You'll have an entry area there on this yellow dotted line over here. You'll have a take profit one and a take profit two area. It might only be take profit one um, on the chart. There might be three on the chart, depending on what the signal brings to us. But that is basically in a nutshell what you can expect um, to see and what you will see on the chart. That is also price labels, just to give you a better indication of where to enter, enter because it is difficult to sometimes read it on the on the sides here. So that is just um, basically uh, what a charge uh, will look like. And then um, I know you all are going to have a huge lot of questions, so I'm going to make your life a little bit easier and try to answer some of those questions in the meantime. Um, and I hope. Yeah, yeah, I know you will still have a lot of questions after that. So you can just stop share. I think you all saw the screen now. So I'm just going to stop share this now before I give it over to Elmer in, in a while. Okay, some of the questions that we can experience or what you may have on your mind is what type of trading experience do we require to, to be part of um, salsa signals? Um, you don't have to have trading experience, but we basically, we can cater from a novice trader to an experienced trader. Um, we just basically require from you to have basic knowledge of how exchange work and how to enter and exit trades. Um, a lot of you will also see the charts and then you'll see that the candle action is way below the, the actual entry point and you might ask, okay, why can't I enter now? Um, the simple reason for that is sometimes we will wait for the for the signal to actually or the candle action to go to a certain point, reach a certain level because we may be waiting for a higher high to to play out or something like that. So yes, we would prefer you to wait for the for the signal to get to an entry point before you actually enter the trade. If you do that before, it's totally on your own risk because the chances are still that you it won't reach that entry. point point and then the, that might just retrace from there and then the signal actually was never active. Um, you all will probably ask, okay, what is our success rate? I'm not going to elaborate now. Um, Almy will, will give a bit more insight into that when she comes aboard. Another question you might have is how many signals can you expect from us uh, in a week or per day? Our aim will be to give you at least we can aim for at least two a day. Um, it might be one, it might be three. 
all depending on what the market brings to us. I mean, there will be days that Bitcoin um, gives its usual tantrums and the uh, market is just down and then there is just no trades available. So in cases like that, you might not receive any trades, but as soon as the market is conducive of trading, we will, we will definitely um, put out some, some, some signals for you. But yeah, roughly approximately two per day. Um, another question that you might ask is, um, should I always, should I wait for take profit to, to happen before I take profit or how should I do that? Almeri will also um, give a bit more insight into that, but we definitely would encourage you to take profits uh, along the way. Um, what happens if I miss the entry? Um, a lot of the times we will post the charts and we will give you hopefully enough time to enter because you will probably, um, there might be, a, we'll, there will be a point that we're waiting for for an entry and that might take an hour or two to play out. Um, and but sometimes it does happen. It just shoots through your entry point. But most of the times so they do come, they do come back and they retest that area. And from there on, you will definitely have a chance to enter the trade again. If it doesn't happen, sorry, you know, we can't um, always know what's going to happen in the markets, but uh, yeah, we will definitely try to give you enough uh, time to enter the trades. Um, Another question you might have is um, what time zones will the signals will be posted? Now, as I explained, we are in South Africa. Um, we are awake, awake probably mostly from about 6 um, a.m., which is uh, 6 a.m. UTC plus 2, um, for, I think, for most of you, or for us. And, uh, anyway, someone must maybe just help me with those calculations. Um, and then, yeah, we, we are awake until about 10 um, p.m. at night. So the signals won't be posted only in the morning or only in the afternoon. They can be posted at random times, early in the morning, late afternoon, late at night. So I think that will really cover a broad spectrum of um, time zones that most of the people will be awake um, uh, all across the world. And uh, hopefully we can do it like that, that both, all of you can actually have a chance to enter those trades. Another question is, um, will this trade still be active after the stop loss has been hit? A lot of the times it does happen that the, that the coin action goes up to a point and retraces immediately. Things like that do happen. Um, normally when a stop loss, stop loss is hit, we will actually um, close the trade unless we advise otherwise. And that we will communicate on the, on the chat channel. Um, so if we think it's still safe to enter the trade, re-enter the trade, we will definitely um, advise you as such. Um, that's just a couple of uh, things from my side. Um, I will open for some more questions now, but Elmarie will also now um, give you a couple of insights from her side and there will be some more time to answer and uh, any questions after that. Um, yeah, can we open the floor for questions if there's anything for the moment? Sure, yes, Genevieve please. has got her hands raised. Um, so if we can give her an opportunity and then the lady that just spoke, then you can after Genevieve, is that okay? Perfect. Hi guys, good morning. Good afternoon, Hi, should I say? Um, my question, I've been following the signals because you guys, I know you've been testing them out on the channel, the Huddle Nuts channel. And the question I ask is like, yes, I think it was two days ago, there was a signal for people, but it never really got into the zone, so to speak. So my question is, would you then post, I saw that for inbox, you did say, okay, exit, this one's been canceled. But I sometimes wonder, you know, you sit there waiting and waiting and you think, okay, now day has gone past, it's, it's no, not in the zone. No. 100%. Um, no, what we endeavor to do is we're going to put out the trades. Obviously, ideally, we would like to uh, the trade to be to get active within an hour or two or three since we posted it. But it does happen that it's not going into the entry zone or the market just doesn't allow it. Um, and if that signal doesn't play out within about 48 hours, uh, then we will definitely cancel that trade. And then we will also advise on the channel once that happens. Okay, cool. As long as there's an advice, so we're not guessing. Yeah, we, will, we will try to, to 
have a bit of an open communication um, with you guys as well. We're not going to have a chat channel per se, but um, we will try to engage with you guys um, in, to, to just uh, guide you through the, the trades if uh, something specifically happens or doesn't Perfect. happen. Perfect. Thanks, Al. Pleasure. Any other questions? Yes. Can I maybe give it over to Elmri then? Elmri? Mm, super. Yes, so um, like Charles said, I'm Elmri. I'm from Houting Krugersdorp in South Africa. Um, I started trading after I was retrenched and um, well, even before COVID happened, uh, joined Huddle Nods, did the course and did a few other TA courses. Um, so, and, and then during that time, we um, sort of, sorry, I just need to open something that I can share my screen, there we go. Um, during the courses, you, you sort of find your rhythm. You know, you, you, you do better scalping or you do better longer term trading, but we really did identify a need for people to be able to earn like $20 or $30 a day. And as Shaw said, that the, the long term signals doesn't really allow for that. I mean, in South African terms, if you can earn $20 for the day, you've got 300 rand and that, that covers your, your milk and bread maybe for the day or the grocery. It fills a little gap. So, so that's really why the need we saw in the market to give people this opportunity. So our channel will, will have signals that we have really assessed and we, we go, you see the channel and the signal and it plays out over a period of two to 48 hours. But we have spent quite some time watching that coin and looking at the reviews before we work out the signal and put it in the, in the signal channel. So, so you really need to understand that, that sometimes they don't play out the market turns on us or Bitcoin gives us a curveball. But from our side, we really do our research properly and we do our due diligence before we give you a signal because we know it's your money on the line and, and we want to protect your capital to the best of our ability. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you quickly and just run you through this because um, obviously the, the logical next question is how do I join um, the signal channel if, if I'm interested? So, so what you, oh, sorry about that. Um, let me just get that back. So what you will first of all need to do is go to the um, Bitcoin trend and for, forecast website, which is um, the one you see on your screen now. And then you will, um, if you have not got an account already registered, you can just register using your email and whatever. Um, and create a password so you will sign in and the next thing you will see is then this screen you will land on this screen where you will select products and um, the online store because um, you've now decided you, you want to join the signal channel and you go to the online store you select products and subscriptions and there you will find the salsa signals logo with our pricing the normal price is $50 per month or $140 for three months. Um, so once you have um, clicked and paid and followed all the prompts, the next thing that will happen in your life is you will receive this email that tells you, um, thank you for joining us. And then we will tell you how to join our bot which will take you through the entire process of joining the signals channel. So you're gonna click on that link there and it's gonna take you to this bot. This is just a few tips on trading and something about us. And if you need extra support, you will be able to click on this link and you will land at our support center. You will log a ticket and it will come directly to Charlotte B and we will assist as soon as we can. So now you've clicked on the, um, link for the bot in your telegram obviously you need to have telegram on your phone or on your device you land here and it says hello armory welcome to the official bitcoin 
bot or TAF bot, and then you just follow the prompts. You will see it says step one of three. So here you gotta um once you've joined the bot, you've got to click hashtag start, and then you're gonna get this message. And as you after you've entered your email address or your TAF username, you will see step two and three that will follow automatically. Um so once you've got, gone through the prompt of the bot, then it will automatically land you um, or give you access to our salsa signals. By now, you have paid, you have gone through the process on the bot, and now you are a member of this salsa signals. You will see at the moment there is only 12 subscribers, but of course, after this day, there's the, this call, there's going to be like 84 subscribers because all of you are going to join us. So um, what you will see once you've joined is like um, 1st of February, 2nd of February, a signal goes out and this is what the signals look like in the bot. And then we give feedback back regularly. It's cancelled or it hit take profit two or it hit take profit two or maybe it hit a stop loss or whatever. We update you on the signals as they, um, as they progress. Something you need to do is maybe just once or twice this little white section you see over here is our signal rules. It's very important that you read those. It's just an indemnification to tell you that what we give is not financial advice. It's um, high probability setups that we have identified and we're giving you the opportunity to leverage off that. Um, it does not constitute in financial advice of any sort whatsoever. Um, like Charles said, and uh, Genevieve also pointed out earlier, we have trial tested this in, in um, for the past three months. Um, and this is just to show you our results over the past three months. And now bear in mind and have a little bit of grace with us that it was really in the trial phase. We also learned through trial and error. And then, of course, January, like you know, Bitcoin threw us a few horrible curveballs like this morning and December, we all wanted the market to spike and that didn't happen. The market actually came down in December. But nonetheless, when we started, um, we posted a, during the course of the month, a total of 70 trades. It was 50-50 between profit and loss that we recall 10. So our average profit was 1.65% if you played every single trade now the losers, the winners, the recalls, every single one of them, um, the total profit gained was 116%, which tells you, you know, if you lose, you lose like one or two percent, but if you gain, you gain anything from 3.5% up to 20%. Um, a coin doesn't very easily run more than that in, in 48 hours. It's very rare. So for December, we did 47 trade again, more or less 50-50, at least we have one more profitable one. We recall only four. Our, um, it's almost half of the trades less. Total profit was 82 and the average was 1.87. So that went slightly up. And then, as I said, um, we will be transparent. These reports will be at the, on, on the Bitcoin trend and forecast website on the Salsa signal document section. So every month there will be a report on, on the trade the history and, and how it played up. We want to be fully transparent about this. So for, the, for January, very quiet month. We only posted 23 trades. Um, again, more or less 50-50, as you can see there, there's still one pending and one has been recalled. Average per trade, 1.41 and total tra um, profit for the month added up was 29.64%. So um, this is now after three months, and, and this statistics will be available to you every single month in, in the um, Signal channel and on the website, we will post this. So, um, let's see, what's next? Okay, now, um, many people ask, so why Salsa Signals? Why does the name come up? Obviously we want to be hot and everything, but what really inspired is, is um, the mama of scalping. And um, just get her on the screen. Wendy inspired us with this Texas secret salsa recipe. She swears by it that you cannot trade without some 
tacos or um, salsa and a, a nice dip of chips or whatever next to you. That's that's apparently the, the secret to, to profitable trades is, is her secret salsa recipe. So we dedicate this to Wendy and um, she has trained all of us. She and, and oh, she's just a, an amazing lady and there to support. So this is just to give tribute to her and uh, the name of, of um, our group. That's where it's from. So um, what will, uh, Charles has already showed you what, what, what a typical signal will look like when you receive it. Um, the, the question is, okay, now I've got the signal, how do I trade this? First of all, like I said, read the rules, they're not financial advice. What you need to know is like on the day this signal, for example, went out, this was the last visible candle. So if we advise that the entry point zone is 6.41, you can more or less enter in that zone because the signals play out so quickly. Um, it's not something that you can estimate to precision. So you really need to, to apply the knowledge you have at this point to see it could have happened that this um candle the next one went straight up or it could happen that it first made it to the top and then it went down a little bit you don't know at this point what's going to happen after this candle right so decide on a zone this this uh, 1.5 percent more or less to either side is a safe zone to decide okay I, i'm going to enter if i lose one percent and it goes back up that's okay so, so, so work on zones. Don't work on the precise number that you see there. Um, take, and, and then, of course, it can drop below the stop loss and go back up all the, all the way. We don't know these things. And then you need to be able to decide, like, if it makes it a U-turn like there, it, it dropped, and then you've got, you have that enormous green candle and you're back at entry level. Then the moment you see a strong candle like that and your volume justifies it and your indicators are in line, get back into the trade. And, and because um, there will be several indicators that tell you this is still a good trade. And we will also advise in the Telegram channel, stop loss, heat, safe to enter again or something like that. We will guide you along the way. So just to show you what actually happened um, with this trade, um, like I said, that was the last candle you were able to see when you received, and then it actually happened. It did drop, not very far, not to stop loss, but it did first drop and then reached entry again. So ideally, you would have entered more or less there. It did go below entry again, hovered a bit, and then it started spiking up. So the next question is, and like we've heard already, it went far above take profit two. Um, now, remember, our signals are valid for 48 hours max. So, so this period often is more than 48 hours. This one played out fairly quickly. But it, uh, even if we can see from the indicators, it will run up to there. We, we cannot give you that take profit because that's going to take more than 48 hours, right? So, so, so we plan for 48 hours. And after that, you can still follow your indicators and decide. You want to chase that profit. You use a trailing stop loss. I mean, if you enter and you put your stop loss there where you've taken profit lost, even if it drops through your stop loss, then you haven't lost a cent. But if it didn't drop through, then um, you, you were able to make the profit right up there to the top. So, so that's how you enter. We will always give at least two take profit targets or um, if it's, well, you can count on two. The average is two. There, there might be exceptions, but um, we apply our minds as the, um, market and the indicators reveal themselves to us. So um, for, for everybody on the call today and everybody that, that decides to join us this month before the 14th of February, Salsa Signals will give a refund on your subscription. So um, you, you will still have to pay the full amount when you enter the Bitcoin trend and forecast website your $50 for one month or your $140 for three months. The moment you have subscribed, we have access to, to your detail. We will send you an email and request your wallet address. That must be your TRC20 or your Binance Smart Chain address. We're not going to pay more than a dollar gas fee to, to refund you $5. Makes sense. So um, everybody till the 14th of February. And um, if the our website went live 
um, just before 12 today. If there's anybody on the call that has already subscribed, you also qualify for, for, for this refund. We will definitely contact you and um, process your refund. So, so, and this is valid until um, 12 UCT time um, on 14 February. Okay, um, let's just see, there was one more thing. And then just a little bit advertisement break and to give thanks to Hoddle Knots that has given us the opportunity and has trained us and it's an amazing support group. Um, I just want to uh, tell you about this little special they have. If you maybe join the Huddle Knots, where you, um, the, they um, have a course that will start on the 6th of February. So if you sign up for that course, which will teach you everything about scalp trading, it's, it's fantastic support you will get. You come into a draw to be eligible to win $100 which um, you will be able to use for your trading once you've completed your course. Same, the, all the information also available on the Bitcoin Trend and Forecast website over there. So that's all from me. I would love to hear your questions now, if there are any. If you have nothing so long while you're thinking about it. Um, um, there is, um, Harry has a hand up if you'd like to ask a question. Harry, if you'd like to unmute. Yes, sir, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the initiative you're taking and, uh, and doing this. I fully agree there's a bit of a gap between the scalp trading and the, and the day trading. So I very much appreciate this is becoming available. Um, uh, this is what you announced about the new scalp trading, the whole lot trading that goes on. I just did it in January. And if there's anybody on this call today, I highly recommend that you take the training. It's really a really good training and will help you also with these salsa signals. Um, I have one uh, question about these uh, exit targets. Um, and I don't know if you're able to answer this. Are your exit targets based on previous resistance and support lines or how do you assess your, uh, your targets, uh, your profit targets? Because uh, it would help me also to look at the chart and then when I'm in the trade to assess like, would it be smart to take, go out or not, or to stay in, in combination that, with the other indicators? But it's like, it may yeah. be helpful for me to know on which, what do you base your exit time? What you your take yes. And that's a great, great question, because the ideal is to, to, to become independent and uh, seeing these opportunities on your own or identifying them on your own. What, what we do is obviously um, we apply our technical knowledge and experience like we we are able to identify certain patterns head and shoulders or cup and handle um inverted head shoulders or tweezers, you know th those type of things and and based on that th there's a specific formula that you are able um to to, to calculate by using your train your your um like the depth of a cup and handle will become the take profit target from the point of breakout. Principles like that. So we use technical principles. And then um, if there are no, no clear pattern, we I personally love to make use of the Fibonacci strategy. And um, then, yes, obviously support resistance and previous history. And then very important is, is the volume, the liquidity in the market. Are there enough people trading this coin? If there's nobody trading the coin at the moment, the pattern can be whatever it wants, but if there are no buyers and sellers, you are going to be stuck in that coin for, for quite some time. And we want to be out of it 10, 12 hours maximum. You, we don't want to be weeks in the same coin. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And then the other question that I have, is: so you have a reduction of $5 or $14. Is that based on a month or a three-month subscription? Or what is the difference between the 5 and the 14 if you pay, it's basically a 10% refund. Uh, okay. The price for one month is $50. So we refund $5. And the price for three months subscription is $140. So we refund $14. Yeah, and John is just answering it in the chat as well. So thanks for the yeah. clarification. Super, you're welcome. Anything else for us? Can I ask a question, please? Please, please do. 
Thank you. Um, I was just wondering with the signals that you're giving, um, will there be any indication of the strength or the liquidity of the coin in order to know what a safe trading amount would be for that specific signal? Um, yes, that, that, that's a very valid question. Thanks for asking it. Um, we are not going to mention the liquidity per se. The best is if you are on your exchange, go and have a look. What's the trading volume in that coin? It will appear at the top right hand of your uh, screen. It will there, there is a specific line that says trading volume. And you can apply the following formula for every million dollar market cap. You can play $200 on the coin. So if, if, if the market cap is $2 million, then you can um, enter a trade with $400. If you enter that trade with $4,000, even if the price goes up, it spikes, you will, and you say um, sell immediately, you, you uh, market sell, you are not going to get all your coins sold because the, the market cap and the, 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 the trading volume is not enough. There are not enough buyers for your 4,000 worth of coins. Um, so, so you need to work that out for yourself. Look at the market cap and don't spend more than $200 on every million dollars market cap. Does that answer? Yeah, thanks. That, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that formula. You said 200 for every million, correct? Every million, yes. You look at the USDT value of the market cap and you, you apply $200 for every million. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Elmarie, there's a question from A, whoever A may be. A is asking, what is the average percentage gain on your calls? We um, calculate our targets that they are not less than 3.5% on take profit one. And then take profit two should be between eight and 10%. If we add take profit three, it will be slightly higher than that. We aim for 3.5%. We also have a principle that the stop loss we, we don't allow, allow ourselves to make the stop loss more than 5% drop. Um, because I mean, if your take profit one is only 3.5%, you don't really want to lose 5%. And they also need to apply your own mind. If you can see the signal is not working out, all of a sudden Bitcoin is, dump, is dumping, don't wait for the 5% to hit, just get out of the coin. Even if you are at a 2%, you could always enter again when it drops lower and then try the signal again. But um, yes, 3.5% is what minimum is what, what we try to keep with the show. Um, am I correct? Yeah, no, that's 100% correct, yes. Yes. Yeah, the, 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 what Elmer showed earlier um, regarding the sequels, it showed maybe 1.4% on average, but remember that accounts now for the losses and everything as well. So we still, um, all the trades um, in general, we're still actually very positive um, after the uh, trial period. Um, yeah, so if you work it out per average, um, per trade, uh, it's about excess of 1.4%, but that's taking losses into account as well. But we obviously- Yeah, and even recall trades. I mean, the, the yeah. profit or loss on a recall trade is 0%, but it does influence your average. So- yes. um, Correct. Yes. Great, are there any questions? Or otherwise we can wrap it up. We're almost at an hour. We don't want to take up too much of your time, but we have the whole afternoon available. So if there are questions, please ask, you're welcome. There was a question about the exchanges. So if you say post a, a signal on Binance, can they use it on another exchange if they don't have Binance and vice versa? You definitely can. We, we um, mentioned the exchange only so that you know what exchange we used to, to calculate the, the signal or to work it out. Other exchanges often differ with a few cents. We have just from experience, we know that we've, we have the best volume on Binance. So, so you're, you're safer there to get your coins or your assets sold 
um, very quickly. But, but yes, you can trade on any exchange and we will put out two coin sales as, signals as well. Um, there are many coins on KuCoin that's not available on Binance at all. And if, if the probabilities are positive and promising, then definitely we, we use screeners that will be able to, to point that out for us. And we will definitely use that for our signals as well. Right. Any other questions? Are we doing a great job so far? <laughs> Super. I think then we can call it a day show. I think so. Yeah. If there's no other questions. Um, yeah. I think we call it a day. Just once again from in Albany, everybody, thank you so much for attending and making the effort to be here. We really appreciate your presence and um, yeah, please join us if you feel, feel you, you, you can. And uh, let's take this to the next level. That's definitely our aim. Now from my side as well, thank you so much for, for taking the time to, to join us today. And we, we know you could have been anywhere and we thank you for being here. I really just want to ask you again after this call, please okay. just go and have a look. Sorry, can you repeat? Okay, what, what I want to ask is um, please go to our website, this Bitcoin trend at forecast, and go and have a look at, at, at our products. Even if you're not interested in salsa signals, there are a variety of products over there. You can also subscribe there for the hot or not scores. Um, it's worth your time. You have been here now, so at least go and have a look at the shop, what it looks like, and maybe there's something that catches your eye. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate you guys um, being here. Almeri, just before we say goodbye, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Nico as well for that uh, fantastic video that he's created. I know he's on the call, yeah? Uh, Nico, thank you very much. It's a job well done. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a great pleasure, Shal, and um, yeah, it's going to be a great product. I'm very excited for you guys. So yeah, well done. Super. <laughs> Thanks, Nico. Perfect. So we're calling it a day. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you everybody. Thanks for joining. Enjoy your day.